Okay, everybody, so once again, it's your old buddy James Wright from Avila's OMC. And, he is an old buddy. And look who's here. It's, it's Dave Armstrong, and today we're walking up to, uh, I'm going to turn this camera around now. Yeah. And follow Dave. Today we're walking up into what everybody knows is Marion Center. Marion Center was built, oh gosh. 1964. Yeah, about 1964. One of the second first group of buildings, phase two, I believe. One of the first group of uh, buildings on the Avenue campus. And here we are. Everybody knows where we are right now. Yeah, how you doing, bud? <laughs> so we're coming in. Oh, hang on. What's this? Second, Dave. Uh, I guess we ought to. Oh, yeah. We ought to do I what. Do it. I don't know what this is about. But... Yeah, you gotta take. What'd you do? You just took your shoes off? I'm gonna join into a meeting what? here. Hang on, what's the second? Oh, I see. Yeah, see, we call this the Bearfoot Room. You really? See why? Why is that? Uh, well, you should probably not Let's first. see. Let's go in there. Huh? Who's in here? Oh my goodness! What Look at in this. the world? So oh this is what goodness. we call the Barefoot Room. Oh, the Barefoot Room. We have we have all kinds of meetings in here. Yeah. Now it's called the Barefoot Room because after Sister Olive had this uh, building built, she put nice orange shag carpeting in here, no. as you can imagine, which was appropriate for the era at that time. And she didn't want people messing it up. It was the only carpeted room on campus. So she would make people take their shoes off. Oh, and that's why everybody's... Oh, I see. What do we got going here? Okay. You yeah, probably don't have to do that anymore these days. Right? No, I don't have to do it anymore. Wait a second. They've changed What's... the carpet a couple of times since oh, then. Oh, you really took it to oh, heart. Real barefoot. barefoot room. Okay. Look at those nails. All right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what, what sort of things would happen in here? Well, this was basically a meeting room, but I, I remember actually myself being invited to do a retreat here in 1988 for what was the campus ministry team at that time. Yeah. Um, I was working for the diocese at that time. So came in here. I remember this is my first memory of Avalos being in this barefoot room 30 years ago. So yeah, well, way so, before these guys were born. Yeah, I graduated here 33 years ago. Yeah. And I remember when you still... That had been after... You still couldn't that. come in this room unless your shoes were off. That's right. I'm I remember the Avala phone -a -thon would happen in here a lot. Still happens in here. Uh, there was a point in time before there was a conference table mm -hmm. that this was just a big empty room with carpet and and students could come in here and just flop down on the floor and they lean could. up against the wall. I think flop there were some bean word. bags, and, yeah. and uh, yeah. it was kind of a, a lounge had, area. The, I, this is what I, I'm probably going to offend some artist here, but I yeah. call that the salt lick. The salt lick. I'd oh, been yeah, in here as long as, as long as I'm way back in '88. On even that I pedestal it. down there, yeah. right? And it's a beautiful piece of art's always been in here. Um, and then of course the plaque, the sister olive back there. Yeah. All kinds of meetings in here. Uh, student activities will meet in here. Um, m a lot of my early uh, campus ministry meetings were in here until we got too big to meet in here. So that's the uh, that's the barefoot room. Just another exciting place, inspirational place on the Avila campus, right here in the Marion Center. So uh, say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. All right, see ya. Wouldn't want to be. Uh...